Suppose it blows over or it never does. He meant leave your emotional comfort zone, except that's where you injure yourself. Uptalk is spreading. Women innovate the language. At first, it sounds trite, but then everyone's doing it. A raised inflection at the end of the sentence, analyzed by linguists. Why am I attached to this? My analyst will tell you if you ask. Moving. Why do we have to stop? Shake yourself from your bones outwards. Hang loose like a skeleton and shake lightly. Her bones are frozen clay. Metal instruments drag over her surfaces, her skin of texture. Is she of the geological world, my clay lady? When I sculpted her, was she ensouled? Cuneiform indentations, a calligraphy of marks over her body, a dance of an unspoken language that ends on the decline. Downtown talk. She'd melt in the nightclub of uptown talk, but it's irrelevant. The statue might come to life at night if the sag of middle age didn't press in on her. Turning why do we have to stop? Fragile self-construction, and yet we are adamant maintaining our comfort zones. Thank you. I'm working on um, a piece with my clay lady sculpture, and I have a whole bunch of other stuff uh, that I will be presenting such as if she is an ensouled, is she an agent in the production of her own meaning? Um, when the clay became the lady, uh, did it affect its outcome um, as she transformed from clay to figure to art? She exists unconcerned with symbolic meaning, yet she is entirely symbolic meaning. Does she live outside my consciousness? Uh, what is her generosity of being? An allowance of symbolic meaning once it is formed? Is clay living organism? That which would allow living or organism if, if it set roots in it? But clay will only be something you can plant if it's broken up and loam is added. It's an impervious soil, you know, used in dams. So, um, is clay an inert substance only there for my shaping? The dust of rock silted? Have I appropriated the clay from the geological world? plant world, to construct it as a projection of my own processes of symbolic meaning making. Clay, impervious to water, is manufactured with oil to ensure it remains pliable, yet it is part of the natural organic world. Uh, you know, if left in a mulch pile in a garden, bugs would reclaim it and transform it into usable soil for vegetal life eventually, I suppose. A 
cannot imagine a poem for my amputated clay lady, my almost representational sculpture, without recognizing the organic substratum from which she was sculpted. The substratum of the organic world, which is the base and from which all life on the planet, inanimate and animate, construes from. Is this her generosity? the generosity of the symbolic meaning of art, and further back, and more importantly, of the organic world itself. Soil, it is non-proliferating. It carries the nutrients of survival and gives them to the roots of the plants, which sustain not just animal life, but the very ability of the earth to provide a world conducive to life in its myriad forms. An ability to absorb nutrients forms the basis of life. Life is motion. Turning to art, does clay ponder its existence through the figure who sits in a reflective folk pose, feetless and handless, an anatomy of partial compositions? She is a collapse of mountains. I ponder the nature of clay's existence as a moldable substratum through the figure that I wrought in 12 weeks of sculpting a life model. Her skeletons and muscles define her curves and masses, her ridges and hollows, the resemblance and personality she imparts. A shape welding or massing, you know, following the shadows. I reproduced her from myself so she could continue on, except the injuries will melt her, being knocked, fall in time, for she is not being cast in a hard metal, in a hard material. So, the earth, the inner earth has its own rhythms and its own methods and times for falling inward. The inner earth has its own rhythms and its own methods and times for falling inwards. Thank you. It's April 11th, 2014, and I'm Brenda Clues coming to you from Toronto, Canada. Ciao! Hope you're having a wonderful Friday night and have a great early spring weekend. And here's somebody, and here's somebody very special who would like to say hi. No, she wouldn't like to say hi. This is Aria.